the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. For the past 33 years, I have looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? And whenever the answer has been no, for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. I've always been attracted to the more revolutionary changes. I don't know why. Because they're harder. They're much more stressful emotionally. And you usually go through a period where everybody tells you that you've completely failed. Remembering that, you are going to die, is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. I'm as proud of many of the things we haven't done as the things we have done. Innovation is saying no to a thousand things. That's been one of my mantras, focus and simplicity. Simple can be harder than complex. You have to work hard to get your thinking clean to make it simple. Being the richest man in the cemetery doesn't matter to me. Going to bed at night saying we've done something wonderful, that's what matters to me. Quality is more important than quantity. One home run is much better than two doubles. My model for business is the Beatles. They were four guys that kept each other's negative tendencies in check. They balanced each other. And the total was greater than the sum of the parts. Sometimes when you innovate, you make mistakes. It is best to admit them quickly and get on with improving your other innovations. I'm convinced that about half of what separates successful entrepreneurs from the non-successful ones is pure perseverance. Technology is nothing. What's important is that, you have a faith in people, that they're basically good and smart, and if you give them tools, they'll do wonderful things with them. My favorite things in life don't cost any money. It's really clear that the most precious resource we all have is time. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow know what you truly want to become. Sometimes life is going to hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. I want to put a ding in the universe, 